In this video, I take an aerial look around Brightline's running repair facility, which is also known as Workshop B. Workshop B is located in West Palm Beach, Florida, just a mile north of Brightline's West Palm Beach station. Brightline currently has five trains, all of which have been stored here since Brightline suspended service due to COVID-19 in March 2020. Each train is made up of four Siemens Venture coaches and two Siemens SCB-40 locomotives. The trains are identified by their color with bright blue, bright orange, and bright red parked outside here on the storage tracks. Bright pink and bright green are parked inside the building. You can see the West Palm Beach skyline in the distance. Since service was suspended, the trains have remained connected to power and have received routine maintenance to keep them ready for when service resumes. They've also been undergoing some minor upgrades. This facility was built for Brightline and part of the Florida East Coast Railway's West Palm Beach Yard. Brightline has four tracks, two inside the building, and two storage tracks outside, which you can see the trains parked on here. While this facility is currently responsible for all of Brightline's maintenance activities, most of that will be moving to the Orlando Vehicle Maintenance Facility which is currently under construction at Orlando International Airport. You can see my update on the status of that facility at the link above. Once it opens, this facility will transition to completing minor repairs and routine maintenance on the trains between trips. The FBC continues to have five yard tracks here to support local traffic. Local trains 945 and 950 are based here currently. Other than the train shed and a warehouse building, which were built new, Brightline was able to repurpose the other existing buildings here for their needs. FEC also continues to maintain a signal shop here as well. Behind Brightland's facility, there are two other tracks that are used by construction crews working on Brightline's expansion to Orlando and by maintenance of away crews. This area had originally been an intermodal facility, but that business had been relocated to other facilities before Brightline came. The old parking lot is now storage for materials needed for the expansion. It is mostly full of signal equipment and various pieces of crossing protection, but there's also ballast, ties, rail, and other items. The items are moved to the various construction sites, either by work train or by truck. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.